Hi everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matrigrano here with a WeatherNow update for you. On this Friday, things are generally quiet. You know, it's been a cloudy day and some fog at the shoreline, but that's not stopping people from enjoying the water and the beach weather in Narr Narragansett. Again, not really a, the best beach day, but those water temperatures in the low 70s, not too bad. Looking out in Newport, maybe you're heading out on the boat. You can actually see that fog in the distance. So again, just be mindful of these things. Uh, it's cloudy, some fog, even up you know, in towards Providence, similar story, uh, clouds hanging on. We may see some sunshine for the afternoon, but uh, for the most part, this is more of a cloudy day with those showers and storm uh, threats uh, during the afternoon and into the evening and tonight as well. Temperatures in the 70s across the board, and it will top out low 80s, I think, this afternoon. Dew points also on the muggy, humid side, upper 60s to around 70. Here's that radar check. You can see some showers and storms off to the west in parts of central Connecticut near Hartford and Windsor Locks. But again, for the most part, it's staying off to the west, and uh, we could see some of these develop as we go through the daytime hours. Notice the severe threat for today, that darker shade of yellow, that slight risk for severe weather. And uh, that's actually off to the west of us. So uh, the main threat looks to remain to the west, but notice we're in that darker green shading. That's a level one marginal risk is what we call it. So that does make its way into parts of the area into Rhode Island but again that is a very slim chance of a severe storm and uh, with any storm that forms of course there's heavy downpours there's thunder there's lightning uh, maybe some gusty winds but if a severe storm were to make its way through of course the you know chance of a strong wind gusts are a little bit more enhanced and uh, maybe even a brief tornado but again the main threat is to the west but I cannot rule it out for us for uh, this afternoon and evening with that storm chance there. Uh, again, the bigger story, excessive rainfall. We've been seeing so much rain the past handful of weeks that the ground is still just very saturated, so it really can't hold any more wet weather. And so anytime we get see some of these showers and storms move through, it just kind of adds insult to injury and gives us that chance of seeing some more flooding. So we're at a marginal risk, again, for today with that threat of some heavier downpours, but this is not a widespread event, and I don't think it's going to be a, a, a day where everyone sees a shower or storm. Notice there. Temperatures low 80s, some upper 70s, only about a 40 to 50 percent chance during the afternoon. Very hit or miss. And uh, into tonight, I actually think the better chance of seeing at least some showers will be during the evening hours and into tonight prior to midnight. And then we'll see some clearing as we go into later on during the overnight hours and into our Saturday. And this weekend's actually shaping up to be pretty nice. One of the best ones we've seen all summer. Temperatures both days in the 80s, looking at some clouds early Saturday, giving way to sunshine. And uh, overall, two good days to be outside. So definitely get outside and enjoy it. But that's your latest weather now update. Thank you for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.